that grain trade a moment ago. Now looking to livestock here. A lot of folks wondering what would be the follow through. Limit down cattle, limit down feeder cattle. I'm interested to hear your thoughts after what you saw yesterday and longer term in the beef trade, Todd. Well, Mark, you know, I think that we, we talked about this last week a little bit. The, the cash market was way out of whack and everybody kept saying, well, the, the cash, the, I said, look, you can see the market is telling you it probably wants to go lower here. And sure enough, we got the report cattle on feed on, on Friday. And of course, everybody was worried over the weekend with good reason. I didn't think it would be as drastic as it was. But once we got below 122 in the fats, I said that I felt that 118 was in play. And here we are just under 118. Now here I'm looking to be a buyer here. I want to see the action around 118. But anywhere in this neighborhood, now I'm looking to be a buyer. Again, I'm very bullish this space as well. I think we've been overdone the downside. You know, markets tend to be overdone one way or the other. And I think this is an overdone spot right now. I think, you know, we saw 113.90 way back about a month or so ago. Now we're at about, you know, in the high 117s. I think we start to work our way higher now. I think cattle finds a base here and moves higher. I think feeders still have to test at 145 level, but then they'll start to move higher again. I like what's going on here. I like the action. I like a little bit of the uncertainty that's out floating on the street right now. That to me indicates a much stronger market that's underneath it. And I think we'll see some movement going upward here, but I wouldn't jump in crazily here. I think you got to watch and let the pattern form, but I think it is looking exactly where we wanted where we wanted to go to. So now I want to be a buyer. Now it's not just a casual look look down here in feeder cattle. I'm you know noticing obviously, and we saw that from the open. It's not just down 80, 60, 80 points. August, September, October down two and a half to three dollars yet, even after the limit down yesterday. Yeah, you're getting some follow through, which is natural. There's some concerns out there. But remember, we had a lot of people step up trying to overpay. So now they're they're actually we call it here on the floor. They're puking it out right now because they got they got stuck at the top. You know, when people get stuck at the bottom or the top, you see these dramatic moves. Mm -hmm. So I would when 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 the, when the puking stops, you will look for a spot where we're going to hold some sort of support level. And then I think you'll see a run to newer to, to better levels. Right. But first, we have to see the sell subside first, but I'm looking for it because I think we're very close. Very good. And uh, we'll get the numbers here real quick, but I want to get your thoughts on the pork complex here. Uh, numbers look fairly uh, positive there on that uh, cold storage report last night, but we're still just a bit lower in hogs here. Talk about pork. Well, I, I think hogs have been, you know, they've been really an enigma here, right? They, we can't get them to go one way or the other, and finally they broke back below 80. Mm -hmm. I think that there's a little bit of trouble here. Uh, again, you know, with beef coming down to be such a low, such a low price now, you know, they then become competitive to one another as well. I think you're going to see hogs probably work their way a little bit lower. I'm not as bullish as I was on hogs. I'm not bearish yet, but I'm not bullish. I don't. I, I want to see this action here, and you know, we're coming up to delivery again on hogs here. So I want to see because as we go out into the future, obviously we go into that backwardation formation, which is never a good sign overall. So I want to see the action here. I'm, I'm kind of in limbo here on hogs. I think probably going to see 76 though before we see a rally forward. Very good. Todd, thanks for the time as always today. We look forward. I think you'll back tomorrow. And we'll look forward to that already. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Todd Horwitz, BubbaTrading.com with us every Tuesday. Normally, all things equal and great to have him on our team as well. All right. Thank you.